This is the Musy Cozy Sleep Eye Mask with built-in Bluetooth speakers. And the sides are nice and padded, so you're supposed to be very comfortable while you're sleeping and listening to music. This comes in different colors, green, black. I got the one with the cat only because it was a couple bucks cheaper. The mask itself is very plush. It's a very velvety feel. Has an adjustable Velcro strap. The inside is silky and cool. There is an additional like dam built in around your nose to keep light out. There's the pouch for the electronic module and then the speakers on each side here and the cord just runs through. So when you power it on, it will attempt to pair. It will say power on, then it will say pairing, and then connected. If you lose connection, it'll say disconnected. And when it reconnects, it'll say connected again. It also say power off once the module turns off. This is your volume down and volume up. When you press the volume up button, you'll hear a little tone for each press. Since you always want to use this on the lowest volume possible, I guess it's like a little warning. I have the USB cable plugged in to the top, and you see a faint red glow right there, so it's charging. You cannot use the device while it's charging. When the battery's low, the little red LED will flash. When the tiny LED light turns blue, it's fully charged. When the tiny LED light flashes red and blue, that means it's pairing, and you'll see it appear on your device as Music Cozy. So on your device, go to Bluetooth, then pair new device. Turn the device on, and the flashing red and blue means it's attempting to pair. Select Music Cozy, and confirm. So the music mask ran about a little over nine hours. According to my tablet, it still has 40% battery. I did keep it on the lowest volume possible, which you want to do. You don't want to damage your ears. You just want a distraction. If you're using a YouTube video, make sure you get one that says no ads. You don't want to blast it awake in the middle of the night when it switches to an ad. So eventually you're going to want to wash this. So make sure it's powered off. Take the control module out of its little pouch. There's two connectors here, one going to each speaker. The bottom one goes straight over here to the right speaker. The top one goes around to the left. I went ahead and took a blue marker and marked my top one. Technically it may not matter if, you know, it's going to the wrong speaker. So you go ahead and just pull these out very gently. Pretty nice tool. You could use your fingernails, of course. And now you want to gently fish out the speaker. And they're sort of encased in rubber. So I would do the same thing over here. Reach in till you feel the rubber around the speaker and just gently pull it. And then gently put my finger in through the hole here and push that connector through a little better. There we go. Now I can wash this. I would hand wash it. And it says to wait 24 hours to make sure it's totally dry to reassemble it. To reassemble, I'm going to insert the right speaker. And there's my blue marker on the edge, so I know it's the right one. And you can sort of tell the left one has a much longer cord. And you just have to push it down. That's pretty good. And if they don't fit over your ears perfectly, you can just go back and readjust. Now I'm fishing the end of the connector back into the little opening. There's a hole built into the electronics pouch right there. See, it's not sewed. See, it's sewed here. There's a little opening right here. Put the left one in. I'm going to do the same thing. Slide it in there. That seems pretty good. Now this one, the cord has to go in underneath the electronics module and then back around. So this will be a little more interesting. You have to like get it through the bridge of the nose. 
Worst case, I can put a little crochet hook in there and get it. Okay, I got it through. Now I'm going to have a go around that bend and bring it up through the electronics pouch. And voila. Pop that in there. Same thing for the bottom connector. And now slide that back in. And now put it on to make sure the earpieces are right for you. Overall, I love the mask. I've used it a few nights. I did have to tighten the strap a couple times. It worked beautifully. It lasted all night with plenty of battery left over. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you.